जय हजूर महाराज इज द सबकॉन्शियस पार्ट ऑफ द कोजल बॉडी और ऑफ द सोल और ऑफ समथिंग एल्स द सबकॉन्शियस पॉइंट इज द पार्ट हिडन स्टोर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द माइंड इट इज ए स्टोरेज ऑफ मेमरीज in the mind and it is hidden from us that's why we call it subconscious we are not conscious of what is hidden everything that happens to us every event that happens gets recorded and stored in the subconscious mind no exception every event every emotional event they all get stored in the subconscious mind therefore it's part of the mind not of the soul soul does not have any subconsciousness soul has only consciousness so soul is the opposite of the mind in that sense that the mind can have a subconscious the soul does not have a subconscious in subconscious states we store things but they are stored at different depths in the subconscious it's like a vast ocean and we are skimming on the top of the ocean which is the conscious awareness that we are having the rest of the stuff is deep down some things are so close to the surface that they protrude through the surface now and then and they affect our conscious life and we don't know why it is happening they are happening because of events we think have not happened because we forgot them subconscious mind never forgets anything it stores everything and with the suitable triggers what is hidden in the subconsciousness can be brought into consciousness itself that is the job of the psychoanalyst of the psychiatrist that if some problems are arising in our behavior in our emotional state because of something that we think is forgotten it which is not really forgotten but is pushing us from the bottom and we can't see it they will use triggers to bring it up into the surface by making us talk about past events and talking uh, talking about the events when those events could have been buried most of these events in a one single physical life are buried in early childhood when the child can experience trauma over things or which adults won't experience and trauma is stored the child becomes an adult and the trauma is hitting from inside from the subconscious and the conscious doesn't know why it's happening like that a clever psychoanalyst a clever psychiatrist can go and create triggers about childhood and when that particular event will come the subconscious will render a more strong emotional reaction a child may start crying screaming over something that happened in childhood and eventually remember what happened the whole idea of healing through psycho psychoanalysis or psychiatry is that if you can bring up into awareness things that are hidden in the subconscious and talk it out the talking out will clear it up it was not so serious as you think it was serious because you were a child now you are an adult you are replaying that emotional role as an adult and it clears up that and therefore your behavior and emotional state changes when you are adult that's the very basis sometimes they call it the talking out cure that you make a person talk talk about earlier things and all the subconscious things come up to the surface subconscious is a very essential part of the of the of the mind mind stores so much stuff mind stores stuff in every life of ours mind even starts storing when it's not very active such as when it's a form other than human in an animal form it stores experiences of the animal a little mouse is running around and is afraid of certain things and we don't know what it's afraid of it's afraid of the subconscious pushing the earlier episode that has happened with that mouse when it was not a mouse therefore the subconscious mind is there is responsible for carrying our sinchit karma 
The sinchit karma is not carried by the conscious mind. The reserved karma, which comes up to create our destinies, is all hidden in the subconscious mind. And that is why the subconscious mind plays a very important role in our reincarnations over here again and again, and in our behavior and style in different incarnations that we make here, in different forms. So it's not a part of the soul. The soul, by identifying with the mind, has created problems that are arising in the mind, and the soul thinks it's the soul's problems. That's a misidentification with the mind.